guys in this week's video we're going to do some upgrades to the G0602 want to guess what it is you're exactly right it's a wooden box what's in this box is the new upgrade so let's unbox it and see what we got see what we got that's right it's an 8 tool turret the Altros turret for the G0602 inserts in the bottom of the crate there to uh, keep the uh, turret from sliding around. Very well packaged there. Um, wow. Very impressed with this turret. Alright guys, so, so I've really been excited to get this turret. Uh, this turret's going to go on the G0602. Now, before you ask, will it fit on a mini lathe? Uh, no, I don't think it will. Uh, from the center line to the base is 64.5 millimeters. And I don't think that you're going to be, with the tools in there, I don't think you're going to be able to have enough turning radius on, say, a 7x mini lathe. This is more for 10 inch and up. Now this is an 8 position turret. Uh, this is from Altros in the Czech Republic. Now my buddy Wyatt sent me a link to this video. I decided to check it out and I was very impressed with this turret. Uh, this turret is unique in that you don't need a stepper motor at all to rotate this turret. It's done pneumatically. Very simple. You need one output and one input for a induction sensor and that's it. Uh, very clever design. Another feature that I like about this turret is it has built-in flood coolant. So the coolant comes through this needle valve here which is adjustable up top. This is a six millimeter tubing, quarter inch tubing. It comes through there, goes through the turret and comes out these ports. comes out these ports on the top and then this coolant plate will direct the coolant towards your tool so you just need to drill an angled hole here a one two millimeter hole to direct the coolant towards your tooling here very clever uh, design it comes with three of these coolant plates uh, I will be machining some more here shortly for the other five positions but it does come with three. It also allows you to mount tool blocks on the plate here. These tool blocks are for mounting TTS holders or center drills, drill bits, boring bars. You can see how they're mounted on the outside. So instead of having a tool here, you'll just mount this block. Very clever design. I was really impressed with the overall design of this turret. These wedges here will hold the 12 millimeter tooling in here. Now you do need to cut down the tooling in order to fit in here. I haven't figured out what size I need to cut it down to but I have bought some new tooling. So here is a, a parting tool, a grooving tool. You can see um, that that's going to have to be cut down some. I'll probably cut it down to about 75 millimeters from here to here. Maybe cut about uh, 25 millimeters off of it. And that should get me 
about the right height but you can see you just drill a hole here to aim towards your cutting tool very clever design there don't worry about a tool change macro for Mach 3 Alteros has already got all that sorted out you can download it from their website it works well with their tool changer and we're going to be showing you how to do that uh, in an upcoming video so this turret is pneumatically operated so every time you get an output from Mach 3 it will rotate one position each position has a sensor at every other position so it knows it's, if it's on an odd position or a even position we'll talk about more of that once we get it mounted I've got to design and machine a mounting plate I'm 64 millimeters from the base to the center line here and I need to be about 78 so I need about 13 and a half 14 and a half millimeter uh, base plate to mount it to the G0602. Let's take it out to the G0602 and we'll see what it looks like on top. So you can see this thing fits real well on the G0602. In the upcoming videos we're going to be designing and building a mounting plate for this for the G0602. We're going to cut down all the tooling. We're going to machine some tool blocks for the outside blocks. Some more of these coolant plates. We're going to get this set up in Mach 3. We're going to get it wired, tested, and actually running. So stay tuned. There's going to be a small series of videos for the Alteros turret. Guys, if you're interested in this Alteros turret, you can stop by their website. You'll be very surprised. This was shipped to the door for around $900. Uh, I haven't found anything quite like this turret. I was very impressed with the overall build quality fit finish you won't find anything like this from China I guarantee you that this is designed and manufactured in the Czech Republic now I've got a piece of this mic 6 left over from the ATC build and I think I'm gonna use that uh, for my base plate I'm gonna go ahead and take off this cool uh, quick change tool post we're gonna be mounting the turret closer to the back back here All right, well, it looks like it's going to be mounted somewhere in that position. That should give me the maximum X travel there. I won't know what that's going to be until I get some tooling in there, but it should be, you know, pretty much the same as I had before. One thing I need to be concerned with is this um, distance from the bottom of here to my plate here, but this is going to be about... 14 millimeters higher uh, this particular piece of stock here is 16 millimeters so I think uh, that's going to be plenty there to spin around I'm going to wrap this video up really excited to get this Alteros turret I need 12 volts for the solenoid I need to wire in my induction sensor to an input on Mach 3 those are the only two connections other than air to the solenoid and flood coolant really excited to get this turret can't wait for you guys to see it in action in next week's video we're going to try to machine uh, the mounting plate stay tuned for those a series of videos on the Alteros turret in the meantime you can stop by Alteros.com you can check out this turret they've got a, a few videos I'll post the link in the video descriptions and you can stop by and uh, check out their turret and see it in action guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button down here below it, that way when I post a new video like this if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always guys please feel free to ask questions make suggestions or leave comments thumbs up if you like the video thanks for watching please subscribe and most importantly be safe.